So this video is, I'm basically going to take the wheel set off um, I have currently, the road wheel set, and I'm going to fit my Zip 101 XPLR wheels, which are currently fitted with Schwaber, Schwaber G1 bikes, 40mm. So I do need to switch the cassette over, I only brought one cassette, so that's what I'm going to do. And then, so yeah, this is going to be a how to. Taking the cassette off my Firecrest 303s. All you need is all you need. So I've just taken the cassette off my Firecrest 303s. All I use chain whip and one of these things that takes it off. So I've been told. Now it's just a case of loading it up onto. the wheel set. I've actually got a built-in um, built torque wrench in my arm. Um, let me just double check. Let me just check this. Torque check it quick. Click. Okay, yeah, it's torqued up. So the cassette is on. Okay, so I've got the cassette on. Um, these were already set up tubeless with um, mill kit, so I've got the mill kit valve in there as you can see. So dropped a little bit of pressure out for the flight, you know, 10-20%. Um, so they're still, you know, seated on the rim and yeah, I'll just go pump these up easy in there and you know, they're going to be good to go. Good size. I could jump out the car, you know, and do this, I could be a mechanic. So yeah, back wheel changed. So yeah, I just done the back wheel first because obviously I needed to change the cassette and like get the hard stuff out of the way first when I'm fresh. Front wheel is just so, I mean, there's nothing to do really. Yeah, drop the front wheel out use it as an opportunity to wipe down the forks load up the front well Well done. So yeah, that's literally how easy it is just to change the wheel set over. So that's it. Change my wheel set over to the 101 XPLR Zip carbon carbon wheels with Schwalbe G1 bike 40 millimeter tires. Um, so I switched over to the gravel power setup now. Uh, I was running. 303 fire crest with Schwalbe Pro 1 um, tyres. So yeah, now I can hit the trails to get used to riding a bit of gravel the last couple of days I'm here because I've not actually ridden off-road uh, since Badlands, which was obviously in September. So I've done this capital race last year at the end of July and actually between capital and Badlands I've been actually used a gravel bike apart from when I actually 
Spain took the bike to Spain um, in the week before Badlands. So generally, I'm actually quite, you know, I generally prefer to train on the road, um, especially because the off-road sometimes is not always easy in, in the UK, especially in the winter. Um, but here in Spain, I can't really miss the opportunity on riding the trails while I do have my gravel bike here. So that's why I brought my other wheel set. I've got them set up with milk it, um, milk it valves and sealant. So yeah, ready to go and hit the trails, and that will tee up doing a review on how this bike feels on the road with the road setup that I was using, and how the bike feels on the trails. Obviously you do have the options here to change the wheelbase and such, which I haven't actually changed. I've just left it as is. So it's going to be interesting to see how the bike does off-road, having used it on the road so far. And then I'll be able to give a bit of more of an in-depth bike review to how it feels. And is this really a bike that is a little bike? You know, one that you can use on the road and one that you can use on the trails. Um, initial initial thoughts are it's a bike that certainly is capable of doing that especially if you're riding in the winter in the UK it's a lot easier to um, use a bike like this which is positioning a gravel bike in the winter in the UK maybe with some 32s or something um, just with the amount of clearance it's just a lot easier to clean mud doesn't get caught in you know such places that you would on a road bike as easily and obviously you do have all the mountain point mounting points for mud guards and things so it's you know it's certainly a bike that you can turn to an ultimate winter bike but this is my race gravel bike and I'm going to put it through its paces on for the next couple of days with a couple KOM attempts so I'll keep you posted on that.